So let's look at how to add a overlay over a video within Divi. Super easy, you don't need any code, no CSS, none of that lark. You don't need to go searching for it. I'll show you exactly how to do it here. Now, you can see here, I have a section with a video behind as set as a background, an overlay on top, and then another element on top of that, a row, which contains our text, etc., etc. Now let's break this down a little bit and I'll show you exactly what's going on. If I go to my contextual menu, I'll go to our wireframe. Now this section up top here is our navigation. This has absolute positioning. It's just sitting up on its own on top of the website. We're not going to worry about that. Let's have a look at the section here. This is what's going to contain everything we're going to be working on. Now we need to use Z index. Why? We need to make sure that these sections and rows are layered on top of each other correctly for them to all show. So this one, I'm going to go into section advanced position. And then I'm going to make sure that the Z index is either set to zero or one. For this instance, I just set it to one. So this is going to show behind the other two. So I'm going to have my overlay set to Z index two and the row I want to show on top set to Z index three. Now let's get rid of this overlay row for now because we'll re-add it and I'll show you how to do that. Let's go into this row, which contains our text position. It's absolute positioning. That's just how I have it set in here. However, the Z index is set to three. So this is showing above the section, obviously, because the Z index is set to a higher number. Now, since this section is set to one and this row is set to three, what we want to do is set our overlay to Z index two. So it shows in between both. Let's go back to visual builder here for a moment. And you can see, well, one, our video pops up into the corner. Let's save this for a moment actually and reload so you can actually see what it looks like before we apply the overlay. So I'm gonna go back in here. We're in the uh, Divi theme builder at the moment, which is what we're building this in. Now you can see here without the overlay, it looks quite messy. Uh, the contrast between the text elements and the background isn't high enough. You can't really make it out, it's not legible. So we need that overlay in between. Now I'm gonna go back to our wireframe because working within the visual builder with what we wanna do here can get a little bit tricky because we're working with Z index also. Uh, it begins, you can't access some elements because the Z index is set and the hierarchy is set. Um, so we need to go back to the wireframe here. So I'm gonna add a row, just a single column row, it doesn't really matter. Um, what does matter, however, is the Z index. I think I've said Z index more than 10 times already in this video, but it is super important for this to work. So let's go into the settings here. I'm gonna drag this over so you can see it. Now let's go to the advanced tab. So position, and we're gonna set this to absolute. What that means is that it's basically going to be in of itself within the section. It's not gonna be affected by any other rows, elements within that section. It's just going to sit up in the corner and we can position it anywhere we want. So it's set to absolute positioning. And then our Z index is gonna be set to two because obviously our section's one and our row head is set to three. So this is set to two. Design, sizing. What we wanna do is make sure that the width is set to 100%. We wanna make sure that the max width is also set to 100%. We also wanna make sure that the height is set to 100%. We come back to content. Now we do not want to set a background color within the column. Why? Because columns disappear on mobile and tablet if there's no elements within them. So to avoid that, scroll down, go to background here. We wanna set our background color. I'm gonna set a dark overlay and I want it slightly opacic. So I'm gonna set the overlay to 85% opacity. I'm gonna make sure it's set to black actually. 85% opacity, that's fine. And then we're gonna come back to desktop. And now you can see that the overlay is in place. However, the video is up in the corner. That's usually what it does when the visual builder reloads. So I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna reload the page and then I'll show you the finished product and our video should load behind and there it does perfectly. And it's set to 100% width, 100% height. The background is set within the row itself and not the column. So if I come down to tablet, it shows, and mobile, it shows. And that's how to add an overlay over a video background within Divi. As I said, no code, no complicated processes, super easy. Hope you got some value from this. If you liked it, smash that like button, sub to the channel. I'm going to be uploading more. I know it's been an absolute age since I've uploaded videos, uh, but that's going to change from now on. Hope you enjoyed it and leave a comment down below. Ask me any questions that you want me to do tutorials on. I'll be happy